Hello everybody, welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, episode 23, where we left off, we were starting to play as Cat, and so you're going to hear a little bit of uh, audio that you heard before, but yeah, let's get into it. Dom, what happened? Come Everything. I want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. <gasps> and left his body in one of our warehouses. No! You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? We don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. You haven't even we seen swear, it. Miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. How about Rick Toffin back it. there? We've got nothing to do with it. I'm in a bad mood. What do you think, Dom? <laughs> Your friend just gave me an idea. No, please, I'll tell you anything. You speak, we're all dead. She hates him. Maybe she can beat him. Who are you talking about? Shut Who up. are you talking about? Is Sorry, it the boat, Captain? <sighs> ooh. Ooh. Uppercut. Oh. oh. She just break his jaw. They're completely useless, boss. But you can look by yourself. You're clever. Yeah, yeah. She'll figure it out. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. It's a party. I don't know what that means. Is that guy sniffing his fingers? That's who he. And the blowfish? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Will you stop? <laughs> Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the low round here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Yes, sir. Why do you couple a gentleman, though? Examine the corpse. Where is it? <laughs> they turned him into bread. I've seen this before. It's the old bread turner into her guy. We'll take him down there to that court there. I don't know where to go. There's no body in here. You silly pranked me. Look for a body, you gotta have a fun time looking for a body somewhere in the warehouse. <clears throat> I'm telling you there's no body. There's blood. And a lot of a lot of blood actually. But there's not a single body in here. Chief Poopin' Dickin? There's no body in there. I don't know where to go. They said there's a body in here somewhere? But I think someone's po- Now I can really see where the body is. Uh, can we climb? What are you looking at, Goober? See, you can- She doesn't have, like, any tool. Exam I'd love to examine the corpse you speak of. Oh, is it in the boat? Oh, my nose is so itchy. <clears throat> uh, there's no body to be found, guys. I don't know who was murdered. Oh. Yes. Can't stop. Someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. A cookie. Oh my goodness. Time out. I need to check something. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, there it is. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? Let's put this puzzle together. You and me. We came from here. 
We did indeed. We're going to solve this puzzle. Uh, there's a clue. So this is where Wes is killed. <clears throat> What's that? A tasty snack. You don't want to go and eat a snack what like that. that. Where Whoa. did it come from? Oh, gross. Alone. Who were those guys? That's the spooky squid gang. Let's take off that mask and see who you really are. There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. Fitzroy. <gasps> I... Did I not say he was a part of it? You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. <gasps> no way. I didn't even get to see what happened. I just kind of got Michiganed. What's going on outside? Use your oh. guns. Oh yeah. This is. We playing COD zombies now? Shoot them! They're becoming stinky. What the hell, Dom? Get out of here! Go! I'll cover you. Die! You filthy rat! Damn it! Oh what? You gonna leave me there? Chapter 12! Attack on the docks. Yibba yibba yibba. Pierce <laughs> saw cats were. <laughs> See the flicker of the cats too. <laughs> Pierce saw cats worrying discoveries through her eyes. While she was searching for the murder of a cop, she was attacked by some island inhabitants. Pierce has yet to find if she did make it. We're gonna. We're gonna solve this mystery. Wake up. What Wake happened? Up. Take that weapon, you'll need it. Oh, sick. Oh, she... ah! oh what? no. Tell me. My head. You're coming into my head. Bradley, damn it. Pull yourself together. They got me. I can't resist any longer. The only thing you had to do was keep an eye on the painter. What happened with her, Bradley? It's... Uh, what happened to Sarah Hawkins? I... was unable to stop her. What do you mean, unable? She left with the bookseller. He came back, alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. Oh, the doctors shit. doctors told me later. They saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it! I'm turning, Pierce, into one of those things. No! Keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me! Sorry, I'm Bucko. Sorry. <clears throat> Maybe if we learn medicine, we can <laughs> patch up that bullet wound. Oh, man. Represents your ability to influence those you talk to with the power of speech. Improve this skill to your chance of convincing or manipulating during discussion. We're too far at the end of the game. Medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving this skill increases the chance of determining the dose of a drug, making a diagnosis, or expressing your understanding of the medical field. Occultism. The medicine and occult can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Skill jumps in your knowledge of human may improve the skill of trees here to understand the motivations of a person based on his or her I got it. Man, things are really picking up now. We are definitely towards the end of the game. Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. I don't remember where that is exactly. Oh my goodness! Stop! Oh God! What am I doing? Uh, we're shooting civilians. Just pretend you're Trevor. 
You won't feel as bad. Guys, look out! It's a bullet! I have a bullet for you. I have a bullet for you. Oh. Thank you! How did you manage to get out of your cell? Officer Bradley, Bradley came to free me. Bradley and his sense of justice. Where is he? I had a bullet for him. <laughs> he was turning into one of those things over there. He begged me to end his suffering. You're going to jail. <laughs> I would have done the same, I guess. I see you're out of bullets. Take these. Sullivan won't need them anymore. Thanks. Hooray! Well, that's a uh, good place as any to call this the end of the episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you're having a good day. If you are watching early on, have a good rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Which is Chef and Seth Plays. Woohoo!